Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekend uh, reading. And this is going to be focused on love, like usual, and it's going to, I'm going to try to make it as possible. Gonna, what will happen in love for, I'm going to say singles. What will happen in love for singles? Single and ready to mingle. What's going to happen? What's going to happen for the singles? And if couples comes up, couples comes up. Woo! Community. Get your ass out there and date. Let your friends help you. Go out with your friends. Go have some fun. Go celebrate your singlehood. Blossoming abundance. Woo! It's beautiful. Something is, is going to grow really fast. Grow into something abundant. Ooh, and somebody might be jealous of your blossoming abundance, eh? Because you put yourself out there. You're out there having fun, looking pretty, looking good. Everybody can see it. And somebody's jealous. Ooh, it's brought to you from above, huh? Brought to you from above. Heaven sent. This is something that you have manifested through, you know, internally, through your heart. It's like... You're also glowing. You're glowing. So be prepared to be noticed, okay? It's like heaven is stepping in. Yikes. Somebody is, is going to... Now's the time. Remember we had this card? I don't know when. A few days ago. Somebody is going to be right after your ass. Could be a male, considering that was my cat who just jumped up, <laughs> which is a male. Anyway, um, it looks like somebody is, is going to be right after you. And you might not be able to get away. <laughs> you may be trying to get away, but, you know, you're ready to bolt. That's what it looks like. It's like, oh, shit. And this... This one's like, you can't get away. I'm the black stallion. What, we have a stallion and a mare? Oh, shit. Don't be nervous. Ooh, something you've wanted for quite some time, right? You've been thinking about this blossoming abundance, right? You've taken your time out. You've taken time to heal. You've taken time to manifest and, and work on yourself. You've been talking to God. You've been talking to the universe. And, you know, it looks like there some action is absolutely going to be taken. And yeah, you may be a little nervous about it, but that's normal. Woo! Okay. So it looks like, you know, there's an opportunity for love. Uh-oh. A contract. My dog is going to freak. There's a new contract starting in the A man just showed up at my door. <laughs> oh goodness. So anyhow, um where were we? 
It's, expect the unexpected, okay? Just like that. It's going to happen just like that. You're not expecting it, and all of a sudden somebody shows up. And there's going to be a very comfortable connection. You guys, it's going to be like so easy to fall in love with this person. So I feel like there's an opportunity for a new contract to be started, a new partnership. You're definitely scared of it. You're definitely scared of it. You may be like, I don't know if I should accept it. I don't know if I want to believe it. But I'm here to tell you that there's absolutely an opportunity for a deep connection with someone that is going to help to bring balance to your life and it's divinely guided it's a divinely guided connection this is for the weekend the 26th 27th 28th be prepared to to run into somebody that you may already have a contract with maybe you maybe you have a you know you made this contract with god before you were born right i mean come on now and now it now it's time now is abs it's 8 the time is now yeah Yep, and this person is, this is a six, this is a six. This person is going to help to bring balance and harmony back to your life. And it is going to cause you to reevaluate because you're going to be like, oh, shit. It's, it's going to cause a little bit of anxiety. It's going to cause a little bit of worry and nervousness because... One becomes two. Life changes. You are going to have somebody that's not happy about your new connection. They may not be happy that you're closing that chapter on them. You're about to start the next chapter, right? And you've been ready for quite some time. And it looks like God is saying, okay. Here's your connection. So if you are going out, if you are dating, if you are out there having fun, you're celebrating, it's, it's a holiday, right? It's Halloween weekend, right? It really is. All the Halloween parties are this weekend. You go to a party. This is a party. You go to a party. Say, if you're going to a party this weekend, be prepared to meet your match. This person may be opposite than you. They may seem like they're the complete opposite. But their opposites attract, right? So if you are single and you are going out to date, you are going out to a party, be prepared to receive some sort of gift that is going to blossom and grow fast. Your, this is a 10. Your time of rest and rejuvenation is over. Go out, have fun, let loose.
and the universe, God has your back. Looks like it's a divine connection. I think I already said that. And this is a contract that you signed up for before you were born. God says, okay. Right now. Right now. But you may have to deal with some sort of jealousy. There could be somebody there or somebody else in your life that you... you had a contract with, that contract is over, that chapter is over, and they might not be happy about your new caring connection. So be prepared for some sort of jealousy of some sort. We're going to get one of these. It's going to be a short reading. This is just for singles. Let go of your worry and anxiety, okay? Let go of it. Because it looks like this is this is meant to happen at this time. It's, it's time. It's time. Remember, this reading won't be for everyone. But if you're going out, you're going out to party, to a celebration, be prepared to somebody for somebody to uh, chase you. <laughs> oh, my God. This was in my reading this morning. And remember, I grabbed this deck, but the book fell on the floor. Fudge. Okay, I remember I said it's a miracle. But remember, I grabbed the deck and the book fell on the floor. So I said, oh, we're going to use a different deck. But I had just got done saying it's a miracle. If you watch the Daily Vibe I did this morning. Wow, it is a miracle. I am a little nervous. Expect the wondrous to emerge. And yes, Fizzy Lizzie, you were right. This reading probably is for me and a bunch of others. Oh, goodness gracious. And I am very nervous. Expect the wondrous to emerge. And th But this reading, I didn't do this reading just for me. This reading is for many. It's for a community, okay? Just around the bend, a miracle is waiting to happen. Release fear and uncertainty. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. Release fear and uncertainty and majestic wonders wait to unfold for you. Watch for them and embrace them. Some come in an unlikely form. <laughs> Remember I said, ah, that's funny. Trust that all is unfolding for your highest good. Expect miracles in your life. What is expected tends to be realized. The more you become aware of the small marvels in your life, the more they will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish them when they appear, no matter how small they seem. What others see as ordinary, the sacred traveler sees as wondrous. Look at your life in a new way. Let go of fear and expectations and allow the Creator to solve your challenges in mysterious and wondrous ways. The Creator is solving this for you. Don't limit the way you think miracles can appear in your life. All is well. Be prepared for a miracle. I said it this morning about what was it? 9 o'clock a.m. And here we go again. Let go of your worries and anxieties. This is in your, the Creator's hands. We'll see who this reading is for. Keep in mind, this is for the whole weekend. Good luck.